New York, New York, yeah. Hey, yo, let me get a chopped cheese and a bagel with a schmear cream cheese. Drivers, truckers, when you're getting off uh, I-87 South here, when you're in the Bronx, to get on to I-95 towards the George Washington, the Cross Bronx exit, make sure you're in the left lane right here where I'm at. Over here, I-87 South, if you're going towards Queens. But if you're getting off here to I-95, make sure you stay in the left lane if you're getting on the George Washington Bridge. This exit is notorious for being horrible. Even right now at two o'clock in the afternoon, it sucks. This guy's gonna just try and cut right in front of me. And you get shit like that. Don't worry, dude, I'll, I'll lay in. Even though I shouldn't. Just gonna force your way in because you're a car. Fucking four wheelers. But yeah, make sure you're in the left lane. This exit sucks. It only stays over one lane. And then you get all the way up there. And then you gotta merge all the way left to get over to the uh, upper deck of the George Washington Bridge. That's where the trucks go. Cars cannot be there. The trucks cannot go to the lower level. And then you get people like this. In the middle of the highway selling stuff. Taking advantage of all the traffic. Get right here. You see our two signs splitting this we need to be in the left lane at. Because if you're in the right lane, I've been in this situation before. I've been in the right lane and I had to force myself over into the left lane because nobody's going to let you over. And then there's just people right here chilling. Fucking selling shit. That's wild. But yeah, make sure you're in the left lane over here because it splits right up there where those other two signs are at. And there's no way for you to get back over there. Because one heads north, one heads south on 95 right there. So, trying to get on the George Washington Bridge. Make sure you're in the left lane up here. Or force your way over. Because ain't no way of getting back over there. Look at that traffic dude. You know, I checked my... Um, I checked Google Maps. To see if there was any traffic in the area. Like I just did a little quick uh, directions to where I'm going. And I wanted to see if there was any uh, traffic in the area. Coming through here. And it said there wasn't. It said there wasn't because I knew that this exit is always a nightmare and it said that there wasn't anything going on and I get here and there's something going on here. It's always slow right here. Like I said, even at two o'clock in the afternoon, it's crazy. Should have just went around. I knew I should have stayed on 287, crossed the uh, Hudson at the Mario Cuomo or some of you may know it as the Tappan Zee Bridge. They rebuilt it a couple years ago. Now it's the Governor Mario Cuomo Bridge or whatever now. And then just avoided all this 995 George Washington I-87 nonsense. And then I went down 287 through New Jersey and then grabbed 95 down there. But I did it because I'm a dumbass and I trust the technology even though I knew better. But see now look, this car carrier, he's got his left blinker on. This dude's got to get over now. Oh man, I think I'll, I'll let him over. I'll probably have to let him over, but... Yeah, it splits right up there, and it's impossible to get over, so I'll, I'll probably let this dude over if nobody else does. But yeah, it splits right there, and then once you, have, once you get around this ramp and get up top, you have to merge all the way left, which is hard because there's multiple lanes of traffic, and traffic is always slow because the truck's got to get all the way over to the left-hand side, the left, I think the left three lanes for the upper deck of the George Washington Bridge because they can't go on the lower decks, so... So right here is up the split. The Hudson River is over there. This is the split right here that I was talking about. So you must be in a left lane. Like I said, if you want to cross the bridge, and this is where it ends at right here. Drop a comment down below if you've ever been through here. You know what I'm talking about. This is, again, coming from I-87 to get to I-95 south five. across the bridge. Left to I you know that this exit sucks. And then all the traffic merges. Look at, look at that off-ramp over there. This is where people merge together at. These two points merge together. It sucks right here, dude. This place sucks. This is why people hate coming through here. Any time of day, just on an average Wednesday afternoon, again, uh, it's like quarter after two now, but I think it wouldn't be so bad. Nope. It's moving. 
thankfully, but still slow. It's annoying. Should have went around. And as you're coming around this ramp right here, it's a merge over there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that traffic up there. So we need to get from right here, we're in the far left lane, to get over to where we need to go. We need to get over there. But then it kind of, you just got to merge across all this, dude, and it's, it's insane. It's madness, dude. With all those people that, that live in the Midwest or run out west and stuff, they're like, yeah, I'm never coming in the Northeast. Well, I don't blame you. It's not too bad, but situations like this, it is pretty bad. Got to get all the way over there, dude. That sucks. Oh, Stevens. Yeah, dude, not fun. This is not going to be great. All right, here we go. I don't know if you can tell in video, but this this ramp is on like a kind of like a hill here, and like stopping and going is pretty bad. I, mean, I got like 44,000 pounds in the box right now. I'm hauling garbage down to Virginia, but yeah, see right here is where this this sucks because this is where you got to merge over. Can, if you can see the sign, this is all trucks to New Jersey upper level. You got to get all the way over there, and there's all these people trying to if they want to grab that last exit before the bridge for like one south or nine a for the north hudson it's like sucks right here so you gotta kind of like take your turns keep your blinker on but like push yourself in so like i gotta get over so i'm gonna start pushing my way in this van's gonna do it at once look at that there you go there we go thanks appreciate that now i gotta get over at least one more so who wants to be a christian let me over at least it's moving. Usually we come through here, dude, it's like at a dead stop. But like, now I just gotta find somebody to let me over. We gotta get over here, dude. This guy's gonna let me go. Like a champ. Dude in the Zuzu is a champ. Even flashed me, appreciate that, bro. Make sure you give him the little thank you button. Give him that. All right, see that wasn't too bad, this example here, but I've been here, dude, I've been stuck in that spot trying to merge over for, I couldn't tell you how long, like, traffic was at, like, a dead stop. I think I sat there for, like, a half hour one time, got a break in. So, you know, this dude wants to get over. Lay him over. Come on, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead, homie. Come on, bro. Go ahead. There you go. Got you, brother. Let your homies over. We all in this together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so we slow through here. Getting in this little part here. We're in the right lane. Because now this part splits right here. But again, all the trucks for the upper upper deck of the bridge, upper level, they got to be up top here. In and this left hand lane is this where it splits. Left at. On I yeah, I got it. Shout out to old boy in the old box truck Zuzu that led us over into the left lane. Absolute legend. Drop a comment down below and say thanks to the dude in the box truck because my guy is a hero. Normally people just say fuck you and they just do whatever they want. But old boy let us in. Absolute legend. We're coming up to the bridge here, but this right lane ends right here. There's been signs for probably at least a quarter to half a mile. All kind of arrows. There's that sign right there saying it's the left lane end or the right lane ends and just still people just like continue to wait for the last minute just to like force themselves in. I don't know, I guess it's just the nature of the beast. We all done it, but like come on bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, there's people over there, but here we go. See a little bit better a better viewing experience bro you're getting a little close to me my guy here we are crossing the mighty Hudson River separating New York from New Jersey 
drop a comment down below and tell me how much the toll is crossing the George Washington Bridge if you're a tractor trailer. I think it's like somewhere around $100 or something like I'm not even joking. The famous, I don't know if you can see it, Lower Manhattan Skyline. Down over there. Up north on the Jersey side, that's where all the rich people live and baseball players. Now we're entering uh, Fort Lee, New Jersey. Nice day out. Nice day. Need any of the three left lanes. I got it. Oh boy, right here next to me is riding on the lane, dude. You're like riding right on that line. I think I'm gonna stay behind him a little bit because I'm not gonna ride my right right hand line either. First time. New Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Hey, look at the traffic heading up. Woo. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you in the next one. Keep left on I-9 to 5. I got it. Keep right.